Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale, and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Loot, Load Order Optimizational Tool by Wrinkly Ninja. Now, like any other mod and mod tool, please go ahead and endorse the mod author. It lets them know that we do care, appreciate all the hard work they've, they've done for our community. And it goes a long way, you know, letting them know that we do appreciate everything that they do for us, since they do it for free and without pay. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do with loot, we're gonna, you want to download it manually. You cannot download it and install it to Mod Organizer 2, and it's highly recommend that you don't, because loot organizes the files through your programming system. Or you can also install it somewhere else if you'd like, but I usually put it in my programs because in all honesty, it just works better for my computer. So, manually download it, okay. Okay, so two things about Mod Organizer, Mod Organizer 2. Mod Organizer 2 has the ability to detect loot anytime you install Mod Organizer if you've already installed loot prop like you normally would. Now, I bet you're thinking loot's a very easy, easy program to install. However, loot's also very, very complicate, complex in certain areas. And I'm going to go over this with you in this tutorial today. Just because you have your load order and you use loot doesn't mean it's correct. And I'm going to go over this process with you today as we go through loot. Now, once you've downloaded and installed loot, you just go ahead and install it like you normally would. Click OK for your language. Find out what the browser is. I'm just going to stick it in there and click Next. It'll install it like it normally does. OK. Click finish, and it lo a loot will load, loot will load, will load normally if you launch it. However, because it's not inside Mod Organizer, it's not detecting my mod list. It's just detecting what's ever inside of the um, the data folder. Now, here's a cool thing about loot: a few things. Loot will let you know if you have any dirty plugins. So if I didn't, so my ESM files for updated Skyrim when you're first installing loot, it'll tell you that they're dirty. What and they are dirty. They need to be cleaned. That's why in Mod Organizer 2, I've already cleaned these files and I created what's a little mod called Update Clean Patch. And you can do that with SSE Edit. Okay, and I'm not going to show you how to do that because there's, there's no point. They've already been cleaned. But there's a small guide. You can go ahead and click on this. Okay, and it'll show you how to do it. And I can always say that for another video on how to clean a mod. And the cool part about this is it also tells you if there's any errors in your mod list. So let's say, and I'll, and I'll give you an idea in a moment. So let's go ahead and we're going to load up loot through Mod Organizer 2. Now, Mod Organizer 2 already detects loot, but just in case you, you need to update loot, click on loot, and it will click on the, the launch file where it is. However, you do want to navigate to loot just to make sure you, the exe file is up to date, so it's in your programming fi files. So you would go down to your local, programming files, loot, and then the exe file. Click on it and click open. Click modify. You want to do this just in case you ever update loot, and it's just something. It just I would make a habit of it, just in case, because you know you might end up getting an error with loot you just you didn't come across, and it can happen. Trust me, I've, it's had to me many many times. So just to be safe, always uh, update your executable if you're ever updating loot uh, to a newer version. Now loot has a few abilities. We can we can bring loot to the toolbar. Click on loot. Now you can run loot through here, through your toolbar, or through your desktop. Right. Now the cool part of loot about loot is since it's already detected through Mod Organizer 2, you don't actually have to create the icon, which is very, very handy and very, very helpful. Now in this folder, you're seeing another loot here. This is the one I use for um, Nexus Mod Manager. Now I'm going to load loot, and it'll show you my Mod Organizer uh, level list. My load order. In loot, you can choose your games right here. And it'll anywhere from Oblivion, Fallout 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4, and New Fate of the Edge, uh, Fate's Edge. You would download and update your master list with this. Okay. Now you have a different filters you can use as well to hide inactive plugins or any other things you wish to do, like hide all plugin messages. Okay. Now, you're going to see certain little things like dev, invent, and rev. Now, what do these mean? These are actually for level lists, okay? And every Certain mods have them, and as you can see through your uh, your level list here, like this one has dev names as well, depending on the load order that you're going to build. And you use these for Matador um, Smash's uh, Smash Patch. So, Matador Smash, you create a Smash Patch, you use the dev and rev, along with Wire Bash. It just helps make your armors, your NCPs, and your uh, weapons, along with monsters, level lists, work well together. 
with the different mods installed. If you ever get an error message, you'll, it'll be like a little red thing, and, it, and, it'll, and Loot will tell you what's wrong with the error message, and you can go from there. Let's go back to plugins. Now, to organize your Loot order, you click in the sort plugins. Now, real, real quick, I just want to show you this. Now, let's say you're looking, for, you don't know where your ESP is in the Loot order, but you want to find it. So let's say I'm looking for Leaf Rust. Well, I like, I just type in Leaf, and here it is. Here's, I, I know exactly in my Load order in Loot where I can find the setup. Here, when I, before I organize it and then after I organize it, I can just look it up again if I want. Okay. Click out of here. Now over here, uh, you can check out copy content, refresh content, check out loot settings. I know where things are organized, how it's based on certain games. Update master list automatically. Uh, enable debugging log if case loot messes up, etc. If you really want to go into detail with loot, and I recommend you know just checking out these. You can view documentation, uh, open debug log. Uh, and, and about, let's say you want to learn more about uh, loot, uh, loot, you can click the about button and, and it'll, you know, tell you, you can go to GitHub, PayPal and all that Bitcoin if you feel, you know, loot is free and all that stuff, so whatever you want to do. It has all the copyright claims and everything there from Wrinkly Wrinkle Ninja. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up the, uh, we're going to sort the order. Now when you're done, you just click apply. Once you're done, your, your little order is done, click exit, okay? Check your mod organizer too, and as you can see, the load order should have changed, okay? Now if it didn't change, all you do is click refresh, and there you go. See, your load order, your, your load order changed here. Just because your load order is set doesn't necessarily mean loot did it right, okay? That's correct. Exactly what I'm saying. Just because loot changed your load order doesn't necessarily mean it did it right. I know for a fact Matador Smash's patch is actually better down here near the bottom above New Beginnings. I know if I put Matador Smash's patch below New Beginnings, it'll actually corrupt my saves and they'll be funny looking when I when I load up um, when I load up the game through ES SKSE or um, regular Skyrim's EXE uh, launcher. I prefer to have my it below though alternative start, so this is this works really well together. Now, Finesse, I prefer actually having here at the bottom as well. This allows for my load order to run smoothly. Now, another thing I have a problem with is, believe it or not, realistic waters, I want them all together. So, I like to have them all together, uh, not up, up here. So, it, now, the cool thing about Mod Organizer 2 is if you click on the mod, it'll highlight the mod on the right-hand side here, and it'll also show you the mod up here, right? So, you can find realistic waters. Now, if I click on this... It'll show me realistic waters is in my load order, all of the patches and stuff. See? And I can slowly go down and organize my load order depending on the colors, which is really, really handy. Now, this should load a little bit quicker than normal now, and my waters will look better inside the game when I load it up. And always double check your loader. And you're gonna you're, you're literally gonna run across things where you you're where you're gonna have mod conflicts with each other. And I'm gonna give you a good example. So Texture mods, like let's say uh, Realistic Waters has a conflict with the Sky Patcher here for E and B. I'm using a, a subsurface scattering uh, mod that I um, installed right from from another mod author, and this patch is having a conflict with Realistic Water. But if I put it down here, and I'm using an E and B, right? It'll basically override the waters, making it look nicer. Uh, it'll spread it out for the ENB if I'm using one, but I'm not using this particularly for an ENB. I'm using this for an actual mod that requires this, okay? Because of the textures and the meshes. Now, let's say I have a good example is uh, immersive armors and crossface and um, improved crossface helmets. They both have a conflict with the steel helmet, which will make if the immersive armors is below or above the uh, crossface helmet, if it's above crossface helmets, improved crossface helmets, the steel helmet will be put on the character that you have in your game, and they will actually be hollowed head. You won't actually see any heads, but if you have it below it, um, you'll actually get to see the steel armor with the crossface helmet. So, immersive armors is a good example of that. See if I can find it real quick. Yeah, Hoth Trooper series. Here's Hoth Trooper, and immersive crossface helmets will have a conflict with that. Immersive armor, you see immersive armors, and I also have the UUMP body physics, which also has a conflict with that. 
but I know for a fact crossface helmet is below this, so it'll override this, allowing my allowing this to not have a big head. Now if if it's in reverse while I'm playing the steel armor and the head is really big, I'll just take this mod and I will in my loader I'll just put it above this. And what that will do is it'll override this one will override this one, allowing for the helmet to, to work properly. But for right now we're gonna leave it where I, where I had it. Okay? And then like I said, if you're ever doing your your game, you want to test, test, test. So guys, loot this is how you install and use loot. And this is how and it helps you create your load order. Now the cool part about loot also has you can sort loot as well if you're lazy and you don't want to load it up. You don't really want to look 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 at the ESPs and keys. And down here at the bottom, if you look look at Mod Organizer 2, it's loading every every little one of your plugins properly. Okay? Now this will take a moment while it loads. Alright, once it's done, I can go down here and I can see once again it it's changed the load order. Loot tries to do it to the best of its ability, but like I said, I know from my experience modding for my own game, this works much better than what it actually d does for me, okay? All right, everyone, so, and then, oh, I have one more thing, I forgot, finesse down here. All right, everyone, so that's how you install loot, that gives you, hopefully, a good, clear understanding of how it works, how your load order on your right side can also affect the load order on the left side in Mod Organizer 2. Also, another quick tip, after you make your load order with um, Mod Organizer 2 on the right side, make sure you line up all your mods correctly with the left side of the panel on Modern Energy, and you can do it under the Priority tab. Now, you can also organize any way you want through groups, categories, etc., etc., but you want to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to, and it'll look like this. What I recommend doing is organizing it through your priorities, and then clicking the Nexus Mod ID, it'll do that as well, or you can go back to No Group, and it'll look like this, okay? But make sure you always have it under priority, because that way it loads accordingly when you load up your game through your, EX, your SKSE, EXE, or your even your uh, Skyrim Special Edition EXE file. All right, everyone? So uh, so what do you guys think? Did this, hopefully, this little um, tutorial help you out and help you, hopefully give you a good understanding of how loot works? Please let me know in the comment section down below. All right, guys, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you so much for the click, and I will see you next time.